1063 Cowboy Country. So, as you guys, as I've been saying, I just got here not too long ago, and uh, just got here Sunday, and when I came a few weeks ago, I uh, I saw this picture up, or this kind of poster up on one of the uh, polls downtown, and I went, this is pretty neat, I gotta check this out, I, mean, I hope I get here in time for it, and luckily, I did, and I'm talking about the Forever West Tattoo Festival, third annual that's gonna be going down at the Cheyenne Depot Plaza, here in town, going to be kicking off this weekend, and we're in here this morning with owner and uh, I guess running of the event, uh, the Tribe Zoo Tattoo Company. Is yeah, that the Tribe Zoo Tattoo? The Tribe Zoo Tattoo. We're in here with Trinidad this morning. Good morning, buddy. How's it going, Cheyenne? So uh, we got this. You're, we're talking a little bit off air about this uh, about this event that you got going on, and it started about three years ago. And what what made you even do this? Do you, have you, tr were you have you been to other conventions before? I have. I've done a lot of traveling in my 17 years of tattooing and born and raised in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I thought it'd be something great to bring to Cheyenne, a little different, you know, switch it up and provide something else for the for the town to do. Uh, what is, how is the, uh, the tattoo culture here in town? Because it is kind of a little old school vibe here and stuff. It's a little different. It is, but, uh, you know, being in the middle of this United States I feel we have a big diversity come through here and honestly there are a lot of heavy tattoo collectors here in this area oh really yeah there is it's a uh, pretty surprising but it is and I I think it has a lot to do with uh, Denver and I-25 and all being so close yeah to the influence. and Cheyenne's kind of a crossroads with I-25 I-80 a lot of traffic comes through here a lot of people come through here we've got the military base so it is old school and country but there is a lot of diversity in Cheyenne no, yeah, I was looking. We were looking at stuff when I was coming here, and I was sitting with like friends and bosses and stuff. And they're like, "All right, you know, we saw the thing with the the beer festival. The guy had some tattoos. I'm like, oh, all right, I fit in." Now I, I have quite a few tattoos. I haven't told all my stories yet. I um, when I first went to New Mexico, I allowed a blind man to tattoo me. Nice. <laughs> nice. How'd, that, how'd that come out? Uh, it came out. All right. <laughs> it came out. Well, we're, uh, we're doing America's first ever tattoo rodeo this weekend, which we're kind of basing a few tattoo events around, you know, rodeo motif. Oh, really? And one of them is the eight seconds, uh, and we're going to be blindfolded for eight seconds, so maybe you should come volunteer. And get oh, I will. All right. I will in a heartbeat. Right. That's not a problem. <laughs> I got no problem doing that. Yeah, I, uh, I've i actually rode a bull before, too, so I would have no problem getting the... I'm down for that. I'll show you off air what it was. It's kind of... Of, yeah, he uh, it's kind of haggard a little bit, but uh, it's a blind guy. What do you expect? Hey, <laughs> mad props. He didn't tattoo himself and you at the same time, I guess. That's great. But uh, yeah, we're in here with Trinidad owner, and uh, what would you say? I mean, you're you're running the event, the promoter, the the owner of the event as well. I mean, I, I like I said earlier off air, I had to a couple years back create some laws to make this happen, and we got it happening, and done it all myself. A lot of help from. Uh, some good friends, but yeah, it's, I don't know, I guess you'd call me the owner of the Forever West Tattoo <laughs> Festival as well. Now, how many people do you have working at your shop? Uh, there are six of us, including myself, and we also do laser removal as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, how ironic. <laughs> so how much of that did they have to work that they didn't want to work doing all this stuff? Have you made that, like, look, you got to do this? Yeah, just a little bit. They're pretty good hard workers already. Um, so if I ask something of them, they're usually up on it, but usually I just let them stay grinding at the shop while I'm handling everything else outside of the shop. You know, the operation's still got to be running. Like, oh, yeah, 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 so. for sure. Um, I will get to all the events and what's going on out there in just one second. I know there's going to be over 40 artists in attendance. Um, there's car shows, graffiti shows, live bands, dance-offs, and a whole lot more. We'll make sure we get to all that here in just one second. But all 40 artists are high quality, great customer service, and they're going to take walk-ups all weekend long. Are your guys going to be tattooing? Yes. Now, how does that work necessarily with finding these artists? Because this is the Forever West Tattoo Festival is representing you. Maybe you're you're not necessarily doing the tattoos, but those artists are representing you, and you want to make sure they're good. Do, do they submit? Like, how does that work? Um, you're exactly right. I do want to put on a high quality show and everyone to reflect our work that we put in. So, pretty much every artist is a friend of mine that I've met through traveling oh, in the years cool. of tattoo conventions. Um, it is an invite only show. Oh! So I reach out to the artists that I want to come. Um, that way we can get a lot of diversity of it, a lot of people from different states. It's not just all the customers from Wyoming. And I know who I'm bringing are high quality artists that will take great care of me. So the event outside with the car show, the dancing, all that, that's parts free, correct? Yes. 
But if you want to go inside, hang out, that is five dollars to get into the depot or to, to the depot, correct? Yes, it's six dollars admission per person or two people for ten. Oh, that ain't bad at all, then. Yeah. And then and then you said a lot of those folks are doing walk-ups. They're not yes. not many appointments are being had. Nope, they pretty much kept their schedules open so they can take care of everybody throughout the weekend. Oh well, that's cool. You can't beat that by any not means. Not at all. Not at all. That's awesome. Well, we're in here with Trinidad, hanging out, having some fun, to learn about the tattoo festival. Three-day event. Three-day event. What time does it start today? 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. today, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday, and 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. 